meeting women with extraordinary stories who make a difference in their communities every day. Today's leading lady comes from my hometown of New Orleans. She operates a food pantry that feeds 6,000 people per month, but the road hasn't always been easy. Take a look. My name is Gail Womack Murray, and I'm the founder of Love in Action Outreach. Love in Action Outreach is a nonprofit organization. We have a food pantry where we distribute food and clothing to help those in need here in the eastern New Orleans. We started Love in Action Outreach in uh, 2005, right after Hurricane Katrina. I decided to start uh, Love in Action Outreach based on some challenges that I had at one time. When things got better, the only thing that I could think about is doing the same thing, you know, uh, being able to serve a community so that people would have a place to go and not, you know, have their children go to sleep without food. I know what that's like, so that's my purpose, and that's what drives me. Our food pantry serves approximately 150 to 175 daily. But right now, we are consistently serving over 2,300 households a month. Uh, Ms. Gale is a uh, trophy winner for me. She just inspires me because her energy level is just so high all the time. Walmart is committed to helping in this fight against hunger and food insecurity. They're one of our major donors, and it allows us to have a variety of food products. Without Walmart, I, I don't think we would be able to do this, and I appreciate everything that they do for Love and Action Outreach. We like to serve people with love and demonstrate God's love for those in need. So anyone that walks through the door, that's our main focus, is to make you feel like we're here to serve you. Please welcome Gail Womack Murray. I gotta give you a standing ovation. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We're honored Thank to have you here. I want to start out saying two things. Our show is all about community and family and love, and you embody all of that. And uh, it means a lot to me, to everyone that you came. That's the first thing. The second thing is, your accent makes me so homesick. <laughs> I love the Thank way you, you talk. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Gail. Now, what challenges uh, did you face when you started this whole thing off? Well, I'm the person that had the job. I had a good job. I uh, served in the military, uh, was recalled during Operation Desert Storm, and then life happens, as it does with so many of us. I found myself going through a divorce with three small children and uh, not knowing where our next meal would come from as we transitioned. I was the one in the office that when they ordered out, I would be, always be on a diet. They were like, you want to order today? No, I'm on a diet. <laughs> Because I just, I was faced with those types of challenges. Right. Um, but, you know, things get better, and they have, so... It's um, incredible. Really is incredible. First of all, let me thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. We deeply appreciate that. <laughs> what, what do you think are the biggest misconceptions that people have in this country about hunger? People think that hunger looks a certain way. You know, you have to look um, maybe like you're hungry or you're not dressed well or whatever. But, you know, knowing that, um, like myself, I had a job, but after paying the mortgage and uh, utility bills and doing things that you have to do to take care of your kids, the nursery, I found myself making tough decisions as it related to food. So I went to the food stamp office and I was denied. It was embarrassing enough to go, but to actually be denied food stamps when I thought I had worked out everything else, it was devastating. Mm. What do you so, tell mothers who come to the pantry? I tell them that we're here to serve. You know, right now, whatever you're going through um, is a transition, is a period of transition. It will get better. And I sometimes give them my story and let them know that what you see now is not what it's always been. I've struggled also. Mm. So when you come to the food pantry, don't be embarrassed. Just let us serve you and, um, and you know, it'll be okay. They're so lucky to have you. What do you think the most rewarding part about all of this is for you? That I get to uh, give back. You know, I believe that everything that I've been through in life was preparing me for ministry. Mm. It was preparing me for right where I am right now. And I often say that I'm living life on purpose, with purpose. That I God has that. done that. 
I love that. Gail, we are so thrilled to have you, and thank you for all of the work that you do. And thank You're you. You're greatly appreciated. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I'm just so excited to see you. It's, it's mutual. <laughs> thank you. Here, have a seat, Gail. Customers can help Walmart fight hunger in their community by looking for the Fight Hunger Spark Change logo on participating products in stores or online. And for more information, go to harrytv.com. We'll be right back.